That explosive melting look is probably the drug that got me into crafting in the first place. I would say that heat embossing, it's my favorite technique, but I would also say that it is the biggest letdown in a product ever. The powders, they're not versatile. That's really kept me in the neutral safe zone. I could have jumped right into the world of colored embossing powders, but when buying powders, I look for ones that give me variety in use. Options. I don't want to throw my money away, or worse, have it mock me from my own drawer sitting there full. But there's been this massive change, and I've come to realize that I've held myself back for 20 years. Until now. Hey chickies, welcome. I'm Ingrid. Embossing powder has always been one of my go-to supplies. I love the embossing technique. It's a great way to elevate a project, just add that little something, but I've always kind of refrained from venturing too far into the color pool with embossing powder. You know, if I can't use my tools in a versatile way, I kind of resist buying them because I want to be able to get the most that I possibly can. I understand the value, you know, when you're mass producing. So I've bought specific things for like Christmas or holidays, or maybe I was making something for a wedding and I was doing multiples. I needed a particular color or a particular look. That is usually when I ventured into those specialty powders. I've pretty much always stuck to the neutrals and that being because I go through them. I've always really thought I don't really need all those colors. I'm gonna stay in my little box. I'm not really gonna stretch myself with powders because honestly you know they do what they do. You stamp with an embossing ink, you apply the powder, you heat set it. It has that explosive cool color that we all love but that's pretty much it. So why do I need 25 different colors? I did start to get some textured ones with glitter because I don't really like glitter. I know some of you just audibly gasped. I can hear you from here, but yes, I'm not a big glitter fan. I am a glitter embossing fan, but colors that's always really kind of been a hard sell for me until now. So really I asked you earlier, What's changed? I was on YouTube a couple months ago and I was on my homepage and I was just scrolling through some of the cool videos that came up. And there was one by Ink Fairy Designs and she showcased how to take a powder and she had an additional powder that gave it an effect, texture. What? I've never even heard of that. And where do I get this powder? So I did what any good crafter would do. I paused the video and I went to two of my crafty friends, Laurel and Justine. If you've never seen their content, I'm linking their channels below because these girls, they are connected to the industry. They know the products that are out there and they know the companies. So if I've never heard of it, good chance they have. So I asked them, what are changers? What do these powders do? Do you have them? Tell me everything you know. They didn't know anything either. <laughs> it was literally that new, which meant that there really wasn't a whole lot on YouTube. So I did the next best thing. I contacted Wow, and it was a Sunday afternoon. So I didn't expect to hear back until the next day. To my absolute shock, they got back to me that day. But then again, I do have a personal relationship there. I really needed to know more. So I pestered Marion with all these questions. Would she tell me what confirmed everything that I thought I saw? Wow released a brand new product that works for me. Sure, they could have released all their colors or a collection of colors in texture. They could have done that, but instead they released a clear version that I get to use with the colors that I already have. Let me say that again. I get to use my existing stash. I don't have to buy 12 different textures. What company does that? And this is just one of the reasons why I have loved WOW for so many years. This is what they do, embossing powders. They are experts at embossing powder. And they have just equipped me with a tool to really stretch myself as an artist and a card maker. Finally, a company that gives me options. Well, that doesn't happen every day. Here's how they work. And at the end of this video, I'm actually gonna give you an additional idea beyond just the regular changers that you can use. In essence, you're going to lighten your powder. That's why it's called Changers Lightning Effects. It comes in this really cute little case, which I absolutely adore. And you're gonna use those three additional jars that are in the back. You're going to take one part powder. I'm gonna use red here, and I'm gonna mix one part powder with one part effect. I did this three different ways so that I had the regular, the sheen 
the glisten, and the texture. The sheen kind of gives you somewhat of a mottled look. For my own personal preference, I liked it when I did a few layers of this. Another thing that you might want to try is adding two parts color to one part sheen if you want a deeper, richer look. If you want the glisten look, the glisten to me is like a fresh layer of snowfall. How it just sparkles in the sunshine. That is the glisten look. It's absolutely stunning. I like that to be one part to one part. And now is my absolute favorite. And it's probably gonna be yours too. Texture. Texture completely transforms your color. I'm gonna say it right here, wow. I want big jars of all of these available. <laughs> these are way too cool. I definitely can see the value in this product. I'm gonna go through this product over and over again. And that's always a good thing. One thing about wow powder is they put anti static in their regular powder. They never want to store your powders at anything but these little jars. The only other thing that you can put them in would be glass because that would also not get rid of the anti-static properties. Once you have your powders mixed, you're going to boss them as usual. Don't just stop there. Let's talk about mixing now. Now you can create your own cool mixes. If you want to buy some mixes, WOW has several different types of mixes that they've already created for you and they are very cool. I absolutely love these. There's such a nice variety and different look to your pieces on maybe a focal element or a word die, or maybe you just want to pop it into an art journal. There's so much you can do with mixes, but let's create our own. I decided to use three parts blueberry to one part texture, added a little tiny bit of glisten because I wanted to add a little bit more sparkle. And then once I had that mixed together, I added some silver and some white ultra high. With the glisten and the texture, because you're starting to get into different types of granules, especially when you have some sparkle. Anytime you have any sort of a sparkly component to an embossing powder or a larger granule, you always want to come from behind first. That helps to give a little bit of a molten look to your powders and it's going to give them a chance to kind of grab onto something a little bit more. Beginning of this video, I told you I don't really get into colors. Not anymore. I think I've ordered almost every primary color that they have put out because I see the value now. If now I can not only have just one look, it really stretches what I can do with these powders. I can use them on paper strips. I can use them in art journals. I can use them on canvases. I can just drop a little for texture, something unique, something that makes the viewer kind of go, huh, what is that? That's cool. And when you can do that to a product, and actually give the crafter, the artist, carte blanche to just go ahead and use it in so many different ways. Yeah, that's a winning combination for me. That is setting me up for success. And I love that. So one of the biggest takeaways for me with changers, it is actually changed the way that I look at colored embossing powder. The ability to transform something as simple as a paper strip. And these are like things that you have left over, things that are gonna be headed for the trash. Think of all those white paper strips, all those black paper strips. If you can emboss them and change the texture on some, look at this video right here. And when you're going through it and you see all the different ways that you can actually create projects with paper strips, think, about how can I use embossing powder and how can I use changers to alter texture? Where would that actually take that project and elevate it? I'll meet you right there.